Ronnie O'Sullivan to break. Sullivan's break off shot fails to find the ball cushion. Well, he's given us plenty of thought. Mark Selby, I think he's going to take the pot on, that's for certain. He just wondered how he can make it so the only red he leaves is the one he's playing. So that was a screw back to Bork, and he's a little unlucky to have left the red. That's what he was thinking. If I screw back to Bork, if I don't get the pot, it should be safe. But when they rattle the jaws like that, you never know where they're going to finish. Ronnie will have to trust to look here for position. He may just go all out and hit it thin and just career into all the other reds here. And trust to look for position. And it could have worked out better than that. OK, yeah. there may be a chance of this black to the right middle. But boy, it's tricky particularly in a deciding frame. Nothing comes that easy. No backing off. What a great shot that was. To play it at that pace, and he Eight. just caught the near jaw, but just enough to take it in. Now, if he's got the right angle on this black, he can pop the black and maybe nudge the red just while well, it looks okay. Nudge the red to the left of the black into a possible position. Played it with pace, knew that he'd always have the red to the middle. And being on this red to the left corner is a bonus. 16. Decided to play for this tricky red along the top cushion. 32. Telford, where the crowds have been very good all week. Played the cannon and it's worked out in perfect. 40. That's five reds and five blacks. 41.
Let's get the financials out of the way. £25,000 for a maximum. £5,000 for the highest break. Fifty six. Fifty-seven. Well, Selby not expecting to get another shot in this match. Yes, it was just the break-off shot. He was tempting to... Well, he didn't have any other 64. shot but the long red. He missed it. It didn't run safe, and this is the result. Sixty-five. And after this black, one more red, and that will be the end of... Mark Selby's challenge. But he certainly proved here this week that that runner's up spot, 72. the Crucible, last May, was no fluke. <laughs> but what can you do sometimes against the genius of Ronnie O'Sullivan? Unbelievable. 80. 81. 81. If O'Sullivan can complete the maximum, he would equal Stephen Hendry's record of eight in competition. 88. 89. Until this frame, this hadn't been one of O'Sullivan's greatest 96. performances. 97. And certainly one of his grittiest. Is he going to finish with a touch of greatness? to keep this break going. 105. And if anyone ever has any doubts, this lays to rest. If you don't think this man's got the heart for the battle, he's proved it today. He's had to dig in at times. And now this would be the icing on the cake. 112. 130. 122. O'Sullivan trailed 3 0, 4 1, 6 3, and 7 5. 125. 129. And he's finishing like the virtuoso. He is. One hundred and thirty-four. One hundred and four. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Ronnie O'Sullivan beats Mark Selby by nine frames to eight, making his eighth 147 maximum